Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here with the Automation Blog, and in this episode of the Automation Minute, I'm going to show you how to use images, actually simple factory images, on buttons inside a Factory Talk View Machine Edition. So let's go ahead and get started, and as you can see here, I have Factory Talk View Studio Machine Edition already open, and I've opened up Rockwell's Demo Project Objects 5 Screen Demo. I actually made this one bigger. I resized it to 1024, so it would be easier to see on the video. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up this low level tag read write screen and i'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way here and what we're going to do is make a copy of this maintained button so I'll control c control v and this is the button we're going to add images to so instead of just having text or having a square button we'll have two images one for off and one for on so let's go ahead and double click on that and here in the property panel, the first thing you want to do typically when you add images to buttons is you want to turn off the border and you want to turn off the background. So let's go ahead and do that. First, the border style, I'll make none. I'll hit apply. You see the border disappears. And now the back style, I'm going to make transparent. And I'll hit apply. And now you can see all the red is gone. All we have is the text. All right. So the next step is to go to states. Now under states, we have a off and an on, and that's where we're going to put our images. So let's start with off. And over here, you see this image field. That's where we're going to go put our image. So let me click on the ellipsis. And here we have, you know, the built-in images that come with Factory Talk View. Um, I could also add some from my hard drive, like I did in the last episode for uh, images on a screen. Here you can see I'm in version 8, so I have bitmap, JPEG, or PNG as options. Um, but in this case, we're going to actually use Symbol Factory. It comes free with Factory Talk View ME, and there's a lot of buttons in that library. So let's go take a look at that. And we'll do that by doing Launch Library. And here, I'm going to use these two buttons here. This will be my off state. So I'm going to click on Copy, and then Paste from Library. And I'm just going to accept the default name here. I'm not going to rename it. And I'm going to click on OK. And I'm going to click on Apply. And now you can see, well, I may have to resize my button here. Now I could scale the image with this checkbox right here and hit apply. And then it kind of stretches it out. So I'm not going to do that, but that's an option you have. Um, so for now, let's go ahead and do state one and then we'll fix the button on the screen. So I'll click on state one, click on image, launch library, click on my on state, copy, paste from library. I'm going to accept the default name again, click on OK shows up here now and then i'm going to click on apply and now we can see what it looks like when it's on so i'm going to click on okay let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger here excellent now one of the things you can do um, before you actually run your project or play test your screen is you can check out how these states look by using the state toolbar now here you can see i got it floating over here and the reason i usually don't keep it docked is because if you dock it, it takes up all this extra space. So, um, yeah, I'm not interested in that. So I usually just leave it floating. Now, if you don't know how to turn that on, it's very easy to get to. You go to View, Toolbars, and then you can turn the State uh, Toolbar on and off. Okay, so if I click on the button here and then change the states, you can see here with my up-down arrow keys, I can look at both states and see what they're going to look like. And now that I'm happy with the way it looks, I'll come over here and play test the screen. And now I'll click on the button. And you can see that on, off, on, off, and that's it. That's all it takes to add images to your push buttons inside of Factory Talk View Machine Edition. Now, if you found that helpful and you would like to learn all about the Panel View Plus, check out my full training course over at hmi-basics.com. And if you enjoyed this video and you would like to support the show to see more of these free videos posted on YouTube, then uh, check out... Um, AutomationTutorials.com, where you can buy any episode of the show for 99 cents. And if you have any questions about what I just did, feel free to ask me over at the AutomationForums.com, where I've already created a post uh, for this video, and you can reply right there with any questions you have. And with that, that's it for this episode of the Automation Minute. Until next time, peace.